Stacy here with the Sweet Pea Chef. So many of you have watched my five-day anti-inflammatory meal plan and asked for more recipes to help with inflammation. So today, I wanna to share with you my three favorite anti-inflammatory drinks that are so easy to make and I absolutely love. With these drinks, we're targeting ingredients that have been scientifically proven to reduce inflammation. Foods like pepper, ginger, turmeric, and apple cider vinegar. And I think you're gonna really like the options I have for you. So let's get started. If you watch my video on intermittent fasting, what I eat in a day, you know that I love my apple cider vinegar elixir. So today I wanna walk you through how to make it because so many of you have asked, how do I make this drink that you're drinking? It looks delicious. So this is it, it's so easy. Start with a large glass. I use a one quart glass mason jar and then you're gonna fill that up with water. It usually takes about two to four cups of water. Follow that with some apple cider vinegar. You can use one to two tablespoons depending on how strong you like it. Some freshly squeezed lemon juice, ground ginger, ground cinnamon, and a little pinch of cayenne pepper. And this pinch goes a long way, so make sure you're not doing too much if you don't like a lot of spice. You can also add in some raw honey if you want it to be a little bit sweet. I personally don't like the raw honey, but it's an option if you want to. And then just stir to combine. This is the number one anti-inflammatory drink that I make, and I have it a lot mostly because of how easy it is. I don't have to go and cook anything. I can just make it within a couple minutes, and it is good to Go. If you watched my video on the benefits of apple cider vinegar, you already know that it has a ton of anti-inflammatory benefits, but it also helps you to keep from feeling hungry, and so you can use it when you're fasting, which is awesome. This whole drink right here is also safe to have on a fast. And plus we have the cayenne, the cinnamon, and the lemon juice, and all of those help with inflammation and also weight loss as well. If you've never heard of golden milk, it is a very simple drink that's originally from India. It's warmed milk with turmeric in it, and it is just, it's so comforting and delicious. Plus it has a ton of anti-inflammatory benefits. Turmeric itself has actually been used for thousands of years as an anti-inflammatory medicine to treat things like joint pain and fatigue and digestive issues. And this golden milk tastes so good with the turmeric. Plus the ginger and the cinnamon in this recipe are also known for their anti-inflammatory properties and this drink is full of antioxidants as well so it is a generally really good drink and I love it on a cold day to make it just combine some coconut milk or almond milk some ground turmeric ground cinnamon raw honey ground black pepper and a chunk of fresh ginger that has been peeled we're gonna put that into a blender and blend it until it's very smooth you could also use dried ginger for this recipe but I really like especially in golden milk the flavor of fresh ginger because it has this really good spice to it. Then we're gonna strain this mixture over a fine mesh sieve or if you have some cheesecloth, that would work. Then we're gonna heat it up in a saucepan over medium high heat. We're not looking for it to come to a full boil, we just wanna heat it through. And then you just pour it into your favorite mug and enjoy. It is so creamy and delicious and full of all sorts of feels. Next, we're making a lemon ginger turmeric tea, which is so good. It's like shockingly delicious how good this tea is. Yes, we are using very similar ingredients, but it, the flavor and the experience of the drink is actually really different than the other two. And the combination of all of these and the different preparations really shows you how you can easily incorporate all of these simple but healthy anti-inflammatory ingredients to make it fit your lifestyle. So to make this tea, just combine some water in a saucepan along with some sliced lemon, fresh ginger, which has been peeled and chopped, ground turmeric, ground cinnamon, and some raw honey or some pure maple syrup. And then we're gonna bring this to a simmer over medium high heat. Then we're gonna reduce the heat and let it cook for another 10 minutes. And also you can add some green tea leaves in if you wanted. That would increase the caffeine levels and add more antioxidants, anti-inflammatory properties as well. Then remove from the heat and strain this using a sieve. And you can either put this into the fridge now and just have it ready to go chilled from the fridge or you can add it over ice, or you can even drink it hot. I love having it over ice. I think it's just the best iced tea. Lemon is really helpful in reducing inflammation in your stomach and your joints and your digestive system. So this is a really good one to have if you're feeling really bloated. Check out my video on the 10 foods that cause inflammation so you can make sure to avoid those and reduce your overall inflammation. And I'll see you in the next video.